Thanks, Pat. As Pat mentioned, the ready-to-deploy ArcGIS mobile application allows me to collect parks data in the field. To get started, I download the project by clicking the project name. Big buttons make it easy to use this application on a touch-enabled tablet PC. And the application walks me through key things that I need to do to run the project. First, would you like to download data now? Next, which layers would you like to download data for? These are the same layers that are coming from the map that Pat configured on the desktop. And finally, I'll get data for the default extent. Keep in mind, I only have to walk through that sequence of steps when I download a new project. Notice the map looks identical to what Pat configured on the desktop. I'll zoom in to the area where I'm working. Let's try that again. And the application walks me through the process of collecting parks data. Notice these are the same symbols. It's the same map template coming from what Pat configured on the desktop. And the workflow is straightforward. I choose the symbol that I want. I want to collect the location using the map. And I place the point. I have the option to review attribute information, most of which was automatically populated by the map layer. And I can add additional notes if necessary, or override any of the default values. Here I have a choice. Do I want to collect another picnic table, or choose a different symbol from the map template? I'll collect another picnic table. And as I collect data in the field, I can view progress on the map. Since this is a task-based workflow, field workers can be immediately productive with very little training. Thanks, Patrick. So now I get to head over to Starbucks. I don't think I actually get a latte, but I sure would like one. Um, and I can keep working here. So far, Pat and I have been collaborating on the same map. He authored the map in desktop and added some data. I took the map to the field to ensure accuracy and add additional content. But I can also edit the same map now using a web browser, which means that I can work anywhere, even here. Using this configurable web application, in this case it's the Flex Viewer, it's easy to validate the data that I collected in the field. Here we see the picnic tables, and I can click to access details. But more importantly, intuitive web editing tools allow me to simply keep editing this same map. Again, here we see the same map template, the same symbols coming from the map that Pat configured on the desktop. And the workflow is straightforward. I choose the symbol that I want, and I place it on the map. Here I've added a playground. And I also want to indicate a parks project under construction in this area, so I'll sketch that in and add project details such as a description and estimated costs. Now, while I was busy collecting data in the field and on the web, Pat was back in the office editing the same map. So I not only see all the work that I've done, but I can access all of the data that he's collected, too. John introduced ArcGIS 10 as a system. This system allows us to edit the same map anywhere, anytime, to increase collaboration and productivity throughout the organization. John?